Hello folks, Mortuary here and welcome back to another episode in my Soul Mask series. And I know that uh, the last couple of episodes I have been mentioning that I would like to build something. But uh, yeah, my people are still hard at work making all the foundations and walls and stuff like that. Let me check, they should have at least some. Yeah, foundations is fine, walls is fine. I have some ceilings or floorings and I have some roofs which are being made but I, I'm gonna wait on, uh, for that until it's uh, a little bit further up and I uh, made a few more things and today I would like to talk to you guys about uh, automation so as I already showed you you can actually oh yeah maybe I can show you that too so the the turkey coop is getting full babies are full grown they have been making new babies and they are being slaughtered every once in a while and the results are thrown in here so I get some feathers some uh, fishies and some eggs and the meat is brought inside because we are cooking that and while I was uh, running around I found the second capybara so yeah these guys they need to f uh, it needs to grow still a little bit and then they might be mating and making new babies for me I don't know I will see what happens but uh, today's episode will be about some automation because now I need some food for my turkeys and I need some food for my capybaras so I set everything up here that they will or uh, fruits I don't want them to waste that not the poisonous bugs but the rest sounds fine to me so turkey fruit corn flour it's a little bit the same like the capybara but as you can see I don't have any uh, flour in here yet so I need to make that pumpkins corn oh yeah this one is pure corn okay fine that that that, that is actually fine I could uh, I could make sure that uh, this gets done correctly. If I put the flour in the box, they will pit it, pick it up and distribute it accordingly, I believe. So if I do this, let me try this, and I put this in a box. Oh, if I have boxes free, of course. So you, you, oh, wait, oh yeah, this one doesn't accept that. So, oh, crap, you, wait, no, you don't want it? Ah, maybe that's why it's still in the, in the thing ah, I see now I see okay let's put that in the box with the food then I should put up a box there where I can put in uh, other things but if I put that I believe with the food here if that works yeah then uh, I think someone will be picking it up and distributing that but yeah I need uh, a regular supply of turkey food at least and maybe cotton flour that's what I need turkey feed and corn flour yeah okay so in order to make turkey feed let's have a look at the uh, crafting bench and see what we can do crafting bench is up here the cooking pot so for turkey feed I need poisonous bugs uh, I also need locust which I should have somewhere as well and corn flour now I want them to make this every once in a while and uh, the way I do that is I set that up as make 50 of those and then you have this little cogwheel here and if you click on that you can set up a um, schedule so I can set up that they make this every two and a half hours 50 pieces of uh, cordon uh, or if, uh, turkey feed that's one thing you see now it turns purple and every two and a half hours the uh, caretaker assigned to the station here in this case it's Hamadin. we'll be taking it over let's check cooking 96 okay it's the best cook for now I need to go get some more cooks uh, similarly I also want them to make uh, like some broth every once in a while like also 50 and same schedule two and a half hours I can fine-tune that later on uh, maybe I should also well if I make broth I don't really need the tortillas because it's also staple food I don't really have a lot of uh, fruit so that's not an issue I will be getting some eggs so bird eggs might be nice to uh, quick heal so let's uh, let's add 50 of that also every two and a half hours there you go so they should be making some food is there anything else I can make I don't have the chili nor that mushrooms I don't have mushrooms yet fish I could go get some fish this 
I ha don't have the salt. I don't have potatoes. I do not have the quinoa yet. yet. This is a very interesting one. Uh, it gives you a a, uh, a buff to experience gain. So I try to always have some of that. But yeah, okay, I cannot make it yet. This is capybara feed. So yeah, I need potatoes for that. Do I actually have potatoes? Let's check. Maybe I have some potato layer lying around. Yeah, they are already roasted, so can't really do anything with that. I'm probably going to be having uh, to make a, a potato field at some point. And yeah, make some potatoes. Oh yeah, I picked out up uh, this outcast here. Found him at a uh, camp while exploring a little bit in the area and trying to find the second capybara. Uh, he was level 2, but he was a master. Let me show you. He's a red one, so the icon is already good, and he's a skilled warrior, not a master, but a skilled. So I thought, why not bring it home, and he can help us do a few things. Some more things I need to do is, uh, in order to make the broth, actually every two and a half hours broth will require some, uh, where is it, boiled eggs will require water, okay, that's fine, but the broth, it requires the... Uh, Wait, I am not even making broth, so broth. Let's make some of those. So that's, let's make 50 also every two and a half hours. Save. But in order to make the broth, I will need fresh meat and I will need bowls. I currently have bowls enough, but let's uh, set that up as well. So at the pottery station, let's make some bowls. And for the bowls, I need the ceramic molds. So let's say, I make a hundred every three, hour, three hours. Every three hours or three and a half hours, yeah. Then that's probably 50 of those every two and a half hours. Maybe I should set it up at two and a half hours, everything. Okay, and that's about it for that. And the additional thing I need to do is uh, like produce some meat every well this is if i do 10 of those that will be a 100 fresh meat let's say also two and a half hours so this is actually how you set up uh more automation more fine-tuned automation of course after a while i will need two workstations of each because yeah I will have some stuff which will get produced automatically every couple of hours and I will need one for uh, other things as well. So we have that one covered, I think. Is this already done? No, they are not making that yet, which I think is strange. I put this one on top. No linen. Okay, okay, I need to make some linen. Let's cue that as well. Linen. Uh, let's say we make 100 also every two hours or two and a half hours we can fine-tune that later on but this is actually how you will set up everything accordingly and yeah also for the bones probably I should make a schedule let me go check on the uh, on the what's it called the compost thingy yeah the this is growing nicely i just need more seeds let me check on this one did i set up oh no i didn't okay so i will have to do something similar here too so fishies i should have enough uh fire ash i have enough so let's say we make 50 of those every two and a half hours i noticed that you need to click twice uh -huh strange okay so this as well 50 and i find now nick clicks next to it i can click on the cogwheel once yeah okay yeah two and a half hours so they should be producing that and maybe some compost as well uh 100 every two and a half hours here though it's going to be a similar thing in order to make the bone powder i will need the bones so uh, I need to set up a task for my workers to make some bone powder every well, two and a half hours. Do I actually already? Yes, I have a grinder. Okay, bone powder, set that up. 
Let's make a hundred every two and a half hours. And do the same for the corn flowers. Let's make a fifty every two and a half hours. And I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think the cordon will run out. What I mean by that is, if you plant cotton, you will get cotton seeds in return. But I'm not sure about the corn, actually. Do I have corn seeds? Yes, I have some corn seeds. But that's probably from the stuff I already made in the past. Hmm. Yeah, I will have to keep an eye on that, because if not, then I will have to actually uh, make sure that uh, I produce some cotton seeds. But this can actually go pretty far. I mean, this is just setting up tasks for, uh, well, workbenches. But you can actually do other things as well. Let me check if there is anyone idle. This one is hosting something. Outcast isn't really doing a thing for now. Uh, Master Hunter isn't really doing a thing for now. He should be doing the craftsman's okay. But I can add other jobs here. And this is going very far, let me show you. Plus, you can make him operate a workbench, but you can also make him go wild collect stuff. Where? Well, near my build location. What does he need to do? Logging, mining, or, or harvesting. And that's how you can set that up. And as long as it can find uh, the tools for it, it will go out and actually do that. Another thing I like to do is workshop collection. Yeah, that's to get stuff and put it in the chests. But I haven't really found any need for them. What I can do is this. If you set up your boxes correctly and give them a name, it will be a lot easier. Like for this one, if I set this up as rename and I will call it dishes confirm and then this one will be my granary rename okay makes it a little bit easier for me like for example I can make the archer go pick up stuff from the granary so collect withdraw items from my granary there you go there is a lot of, oh yeah my boxes okay from my granary uh, what does he need to pick up well for example the coin there you go add that to the queue save and now what does he need to do with the curtain he needs to stir this in my box There you go, save. Quantity unlimited, yeah, sure. So what he will be doing now is every once in a while he will go check if there is corn actually in my granary. He will pick it up, bring it to the dishes box and put it in the dishes box. So I should normally, if corn appears in here, he will be doing that. You could set that up for many, many, many different things. Uh, most of the workstations are already covered. But you could, for example, f perfectly have someone uh, collect stone on the other side of the river and then put some boxes up to make them transport it back home. Of course, you will need to be careful because they can get attacked and stuff like that, but it is possible. And that is actually how the whole um, automation works. This is only covering the basics of it. I mean, I, I could go a lot further, like, for example, have them make uh, leather every once in a while, have them make, uh, well, linen, I already showed that, but also cut up meat. I could have them make, uh, I don't know, floors every 10 minutes or every half an hour. Things like that are things you can set up. Let me show you if there are any other options I could talk about. So, operate workbench is clear. Wild collection is gather materials in the wild. Workshop collection, I think that's picking up stuff from the workshop. Huh. I don't even know what that is. Ah, 
Okay, the workshop collection is for the excava excavation pit and the wood collecting things and then you can set up which stuff it needs to store in there. I did not know that. Okay, that's a good one to know. Store items, withdraw items, we already know. Farm management, well, we have someone. You could do that by assigning someone to the granary as well. Crafting table, autoplay. After you use the autoplay. No idea. Breed and slaughter, we have already have. Camp upkeep, we already have appointed someone to our uh, our bonfire, so that's already covered. And mine exploration, I have not found a mine yet myself, so I don't know what that is. But I do know that at some ooh, I'm hungry. Uh, I do know that at some point you can actually set up a mine and have your thrall actually mine stuff for you and put it in boxes in the mining camp. But I, I didn't get that far yet in the game. Okay, uh, anything else I need to tell you guys about the whole uh, automation? Hmm. Not really. I think I covered most of it. Let's check the copy bar of him. Come on. Still only two. Is it still in the pool? Yeah, but there is no food in... Ah, no, there is. Okay, he brought some. See, I put it in a box and then he brought it from the box up here. So they should be surviving now. These guys probably have also food. Yeah, also cornflower. I didn't know they ate cornflower, actually. Is it cornflower? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one is the cornflower. That one is the corn. Okay, I got it. I got it. So they should be making a few things now. This guy is doing the pottery. That's fine. And then we have people manning this and manning that. Then we have... The guy making the bone powder and then I have another person working on the planks which I need for the buildings and yeah meanwhile I could also go check a few things explore a little bit maybe to wrap up today's episode I will take up some of my thralls and uh, well some of my clans members and go check this thing here to actually open that up and that's probably gonna be how I end up today's episode, so let me check who's here. Archer, do you have everything you need? Let me check. He has a bow, he has arrows, he has food, he does not have any bandages. So let's pick up some bandages, uh, split it in two. Yes, there you go. Should probably be starting to make the, wait, the next tier of uh, bandages. You, you can get your bandages in here let's put it up like that because i like doing it like that so he has weapons he has some armor he has everything he should need do i have a better bow for you a purple bone bow with 23 damage what do you have a bad bow okay let's uh, get that bow this is not a bad bow but that's a long bow okay okay Okay, let's uh, give him a good bow. Actually, a better bow than what he has. What is this? Oh, parallels. Oh, yeah. Okay, the mods. Maybe at some point I can talk a little bit about all the mods and stuff. So you have a better bow. You should have your arrows for it. Wooden arrows. Yes, perfect. I can destroy this one. It's workless anyway. And let me deploy you and do i have my hammerdin oh hammerdin is actually working on the crafting stuff hmm. yes i'm gonna bring him along anyway let's first check if she ah he has some meat on him that's fine let's put that up like this he has a water bottle do you have a water bottle actually you do not Oof. i need water bottles too um what else do I need? Well, some more of those for Hammerdin. Our, our guy is starting to dance. Why is he doing it like that? Okay. Like this. Uh, let's deploy him once he dropped off everything. Deploy. There you go. So I have two people with me. I should be fine. Should be fine. Uh, anything else I need to do? Nope. So let's uh, just head over there and unlock that part of the map too. 
and then swing back like this, go back here and go back home. And that's going to be it for today, I think. It's just some uh, explanation on the automation and some uh, adventure. Okay, nothing here, which is too dangerous. There might be, uh, I was just about to say, there might be some crocodiles or alligators or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so I need to be up there. This is bush dogs. Oh no, it's capybaras. It's no worries, no worries. Let's go check that um, camp. Oh yeah, maybe interesting to mention too. You see at the bottom left of the screen, you now have uh, the deployment options, which uh, function keys, and you can use those to actually tell your people to do things. Like F1 is attack my target, F2 follow me, F3 stand there, wait for me. F4 is put them on aggressive mode so they will attack anything they see. F5 is what they are now in uh, assist mode and that means if something attacks me they will attack it too. Get it. Yeah, they got it. Okay, fine. You are a bush dog too. So F1, they will attack it. Come on, attack. Okay. This way they also get some levels and it's XP and whatnot. Just need to be careful that they uh, do not die. So, okay, F1, attack my target. F2, follow me. F3, stay in place. F4, aggressive mode. F5 is actually, uh, I would I would call it guard, not really assist, because they will not automatically attack your target. They will just attack your target once it hits you. See, that's when they start attacking. So I would call it guard and not assist mode. F6 is passive. They will not do anything, even if they get attacked. By the way. And F7, oh, you can use that to actually make them come heal you once you are downed. And F8 is end deployment. Okay, so now what I should probably do is uh, make them stay. So F3, put them on passes, passive F6 while, because I want to check everything here. So that's the scout. This is the one I need to deter. And this one is the one I can kill. If he stands still, I will shoot an arrow. Of course, not good enough. Oh! Yeah. I need to hit him. Okay. I do not want to crit. Because I need to deter him to get the information. I got her, I got her. This will unlock another point actually. So now they can they can come and attack my target and help me. Yep. Oh he shot an arrow. Nice. Is there anything else I need? Well I will pick everything up. I can always uh, disband everything or break everything down into components if need be. So that's not going to be a big problem. So where are my friends now? I'm just standing there. Where's the other one? Follow me. Oh, here. Okay. Um, so yeah, I did get that, which is okay. I probably unlocked that part of the map. Yes, it did. So it cleared up a whole section of the map. Well, yeah, it's nice. So I will go up here to that point and then go back home and wrap up for today. So we did some uh, some exploration as well, which is good. I need to unlock the parts of the map so I can continue my travels. I hope by next time we will have enough building components so we can actually start building the base out a little bit. 
but we will see. If not, then it's probably going to be another adventure time thingy. Get it. Okay, they got it. Nice. Oh, piggies. It's a big piggy. Come on, attack it. I will uh, protect. You guys can kill it. Same with this one. It's dead. Nice. It gives them some XP. I might actually have to lower the, the game volume, music volume, because it's kind of loud. I've been doing that in, in post production actually, lowering the volume of the game a little bit. Ah, big bush dogs. Nice. Let's fire an arrow at this one. Get it. They're not gonna get it. should also pick up the meat action and the leathers until my capybaras are full grown this is my main source of uh, meat and leather actually the, the the turkeys are already producing meat as well i think okay chests nice Anything else? I thought... Uh, oh, they do. Yeah, this is a change they did. Chests now show up in your uh, life perception scan. Or what is it called? Yeah, life perception. So that helps quite a bit, uh, especially when, when trying to discover those uh, tablets which give you additional knowledge points. Now at least they will show up. Oh, cool. So let's head back home and wrap up for today it's gonna be the plan and i hope next time i can uh, do some digging i really hope i can no piranhas which is fine there is capybaras up here which are the ones i tried to catch i believe okay we're uh, heading home it's a couple of uh, meters away but should be no problem at all getting there. Something I will have to do as well is check uh, the levels of my people. Oh, I'm uh, a little bit further up than I expected. Let's do that really quick. So I have Hammerdin with me and I have Monk with me, I believe. Let's check. Oh, there I can combat. Ooh, there you. Where are you? Oh, I have no more. They killed it anyway. Yeah, okay. Should probably be using uh, some of those thingies here. Uh, stone, yeah, the stones to uh, fuel my mask again. Okay, mask is healed. Let's check uh, Archer and Hammerdin. Archer stats. Okay, that's all reasonably mediocre for now did he gain some levels he gained one level i'd like to have uh, physique on 20 so that's one archer and i think i brought hammerdin with me yeah so hammerdin got two levels nice so two in here let's check oh, everything is around 30 so it didn't really gain anything probably some uh, great great sword skills and for me, myself and I, let's check. Did I have something in here not repaired? The mask is not level 5 yet, so I cannot unlock that yet. But I should be able to get some more of these. But I'm going to be doing that off camera because it's all pretty much the same thing. It just allows you to gain uh, some uh, experience a little bit faster in some branches. Energy unit. Yeah, more energy in my mask would be nice. 
You pay to identify enemies. Yeah, that would be nice as well. And this one too. Okay, that's repaired. What's this? Habitat analysis. Yeah. If I have the thingies right, why not? Minerals. Oh yeah, this will allow me to uh, see the minerals when I try to detect stuff. Do I have anything else up here? Deter enhance. Transfer. Connection enhancement. Yes. This allows me to get more tribes people or clans people. And this one, sync enhance. Repair it enhance the sync between the masks and the targets where there's considerably improving the communication efficiency between awareness, allowing one to get tribesmen's understanding quicker. Okay. Anything else? Deter enhance. A little bit faster deterring. Sure, I have the crystals anyway. So that's all done. Okay, perfect. And I will be putting points into these as I go. Still have enough uh, crystals anyway. We're almost back home. At least I think we are on the crocodile. Or the alligator over there. I could have brought some of that uh, clay with me actually. Man, I'm, I'm quite far away actually. Yeah. Okay. Sure, put away your weapon now. Huh? That's a good idea. Where are my people? Oh, now you're coming to help. It's already dead. Okay. We're getting there slowly but steadily. There is actually a lot of clay around these uh, lakes and rivers, and you do need a lot of it. It is still a long walk. Oh, there it is. Base is uh, starting to show up. Are they fighting something? Yeah. Crocodile. Ah! Let them fight it. Plans for the base? Well, I don't really know for sure what I will be doing. But I would like to have a base with uh, two levels, maybe three levels. So we will see what we can do with that. I think the ground floor should be everything for uh, storage and all the crafting. Maybe bring some of the crafting to the second level, if need be, if I don't have enough room. And the third level should be some, uh, yeah, some beds and whatnot. Maybe some separate rooms, actually. So, yeah, here we are back home. We survived, we showed you a little bit about automation, we showed you a little bit about uh, other things, and for me, it's time to wrap up for today, so I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a little comment or a little thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel, helps me out quite a bit, and uh, uh, until next time, have fun, stay safe, and bye bye everyone.